Sidebar is a new product released in Tokyo, August 2022 as a store app. Sidebar allows agents to, in, to interact with other agents and subject matter experts to discuss on a case, incident, problem, any task-based record. It also allows agents who are interacting live with end user to discuss with other agents and SMEs to get the help faster for resolving the tickets with high quality. Let's say Beth Angelin is an agent. Sidebar is available in few of the workspaces for Tokyo. So please do check our product documentations to see list of the available workspaces. I can show two use cases. One is how agent can work on any record-based task like incidents, cases, and problems and initiate a sidebar discussion with other agents or SMEs. And the second use case is, let's say Beth Angelin is also available online to accept the end user interactions live. She can also initiate a sidebar discussion to discuss with other agents and SMEs. Let's get started. So in this workspace, Beth went and looked at all the incidents and she clicked on the latest incident. Let's see, Beth Angelin wants to work on one of the incident that is a critical. So she clicked on, I can't launch my VPN client since the last software update. Beth is aware about the similar issue that's been handled by other agents. So she wants to start a sidebar discussion to check with other agents if she can find any quick information and useful information to help her resolve this incident faster. To start a sidebar discussion, she has to click on discuss button. Subject automatically populates with the title of the incident. I can't launch my VPN client since the last software update. Add participants. If a pre-fill configuration is done, automatically the list of participants will be added into the participants list. But Beth can delete them and she can also add new participants to the list by searching on the names. And she's going to send a message here. and click on start discussion. Per record, there'll be one sidebar discussion window opens. If you observe, the incident is also added as a record into this window so that the other participants who've been added into this discussions can click on that record and understand what's going on with that incident and what in, how they can help but to solve it faster. Look into the number of participants who've been added into this conversation. So we have five participants. By clicking on information, we can look at all those participants here. So Fred is there. If Beth wants to start this discussion, she can click on start to favorite this discussion and she can minimize this window or she can cancel the window. Beth can search for KB articles for Tokyo. Uh, we provided search KB articles as a out of the box quick actions. She can provide the keyword to look for all the matching KB articles. Let's say Beth selects a KB article and send to the other participants. The KB article it's sent as a record within the discuss window. Beth can also send emojis to the participants. She can also attach files that she want to share with the other participants.
let's see on Fred's side how this discussion uh, visible on his instance. So I logged into Fred instance. In Fred instance, if you look on the right side, there is a sidebar discussion icon, which is showing the batch count of two, which means there's a new discussions has been entered into Fred's sidebar discussions menu. There's one previous, but let's focus on the latest one that he received. Now Fred clicks on this discussion Fred can click on open record to look at the incident which Beth has sent. He can go through the information that's been here and he can also look at some of the useful information like descriptions and who's been worked in the past and what type of comments or work notes has been available for that instant. Let's say Fred is aware about this and he says that a known issue. Now, Fred can also look at other interactions, other discussions that's available in his menu box. He can look at unread message. If he favorited any discussion, he can also look at the favorites for his quick search. Fred can also search through his discussions to find a useful information by clicking on search icon. He can use a keyword to search for the matching discussions. So our search uses AI on the background. So it will go and look at all the available discussions where Fred is, is added as a participant. And he can look at all these discussions and pick the one that's useful for him. Now, Fred can pin sidebar to his instance so that the sidebar menu always stay on the right side of his instance. He can unpin and always click on sidebar discussion icon to look for his discussions list. Now, if Fred is working on multiple discussions, all those multiple discussions will show up, will be docked at the at the bottom. Anything that is overflown will go into the overflow done with the extra number of windows that's available. Now, looking at uh, if Fred wants to send any KB articles, so there's a quick actions out of the box available with search KB, which will show the list of the available KB articles with the, with the matching keyword. Fred can select one of the keyword and he can also send to Beth if it is a useful one for her to go through it. When he signed, the KB article goes as a record for the other participants to look into. Let's say Fred, uh, Fred decides to pin this message to the activity stream by right-clicking and post to activity stream. This message will be added into the activity stream. Now let's go back to Beth instance and look into the activity stream. So if you look at the activity stream, whichever is the latest message that's being saved, posted into the activity stream will show up at the top. An activity stream will also have the new discussions record for other participants to open and understand what's happening on that window, on that instance, and whatever the uh, comments or replies from the participants. Let's say Beth decides she doesn't want this message to be posted into the activity stream. She can remove from the activity stream. So, if you so that message is gone from the activity stream. Now let's say Beth Angelin 
is also working as a live agent who is available, who made herself available uh, to accept the end users chat conversations. Now for this use case, Beth Angelin is the agent and Able Tutor is our end user. So let's go into Able's instance. So Able is an end user and he has some questions and he need any help to interact with the live agent. Now you can go to his service portal and click on the chat icon to start a conversation. He wants to interact with the live agent correctly. So we choose live agent support. So the message says, please stand by while I connect you to a live agent. Now let's see on that side, if she receives Abel's interaction into her inbox. She got it. Now Beth accepts this interactions to start her conversation with Abel. Agent chat window opens and she starts sending message to Abel. Now let's go back to Abel. Who sees? So Abel wants, uh, he has problem with email server and he wants the server to be available soon. Now he sends to Beth. Now let's go back to Beth's instance. Now on Beth's side, so to start a sidebar discussion, Beth clicks on discuss button within her agent workspace. In agent workspace, Subject is not auto-populated, so agents has to provide a meaningful subject based on the questions that they have received from the end user. Now Beth is aware that uh, which participant has this information. She can, in fact, take out the other participants and she can add a new participant who might be very much aware about this issue and can help her faster. Clicks on start discussion. Okay, there is a new window opens for this new discussion. Just to keep the live chat active. And Beth can favorite this chat and she can work on multiple other discussions simultaneously. And now on Fred's side, Fred received a new discussion. So now in this case, Fred can quickly search for search for the previous one and he can re reply to Beth. So there was already an email server issue is being asked like last week and now there's another one came up from the end user. So looking at this, Fred can also make, this has priority and he can work on to fix this issue faster. So sidebar, it helps the agents to get the help faster and help the end users with the high quality and faster resolutions. To install Sidebar, go to system applications and search for Omni Experience Standard Feature Set. So if it is not installed, click on install to get this store app into your instance. Let's say if you did not find in system applications, you can also go to ServiceNow stores and search for Omni Experience Standard Feature Set 
and get it from here can follow the summary and key feature system requirements that's been provided within the store app. Now, once your sidebar is installed, go to conversational interfaces, click on settings. You'll find sidebar in on your left side menu. Click on sidebar. As the default sidebar is always activated in your instance, if you want to deactivate, click on the toggle button to deactivate sidebar. Now to let the agents to use emojis within their discussions, activate emojis discussions. And now for the participants, if you want to have a preferred setup to be activated, which means when you start a sidebar discussion, automatically the group of assigned members will be added into the sidebar discussions. 